governor's seat. Yesterday, Republicans chose Representative Ron DeSantis, a conservative who aligned himself with President Trump, while Democrats shocked many by voting for Andrew Gillum, the progressive mayor from Tallahassee who got support from Senator Bernie Sanders. Gillum is looking to be the state's first African-American governor. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo explains what type of race we may see leading into November, Dwayne. Well, Jacqueline, local political pundits say you'll probably see excitement on both sides going into the race. And there will be a specific group of voters that these candidates will target. It's official. Florida has two gubernatorial candidates heading into November, and it's already a dogfight. After winning the Republican nomination, Ron DeSantis said Gillum was an articulate spokesman, but also went on to say, the last thing we need to do is monkey this thing up by trying to embrace a socialist agenda with huge tax increases and bankrupting the state. Some Democrats calling it a racist dog whistle, while Democratic candidate Andrew Gillum said this of his opponent. Donald Trump and, and Ron DeSantis are both scraping from the bottom of the barrel. New College of Florida political professor Frank Alcock admitted both these candidates are polar opposites, making this race that much more interesting in the next coming months. What I see is enthusiasm, uh, tremendous enthusiasm on both sides. On one side, you have DeSantis, who supports the border wall, and like Trump, claims to be anti-establishment. You know, I'm out there fighting for term limits. I'm fighting for things like when Congress has this slush fund for sexual harassment settlements, I blow the whistle on that stuff. On the other, you have Gillum, who wants to get rid of immigration and customs enforcement, also known as ICE. What we are clear about is that we can run wholly on our values, that we can talk to people um, in a commonsensical way about the issues that confront them. With the issues laid out, Alcock points to the group of non-party affiliated voters that may make a difference. Those numbers are increasing. Uh, they're over one in four, high 20% of voters uh, statewide. Uh, who will they pick? And I think uh, they're out there um, for courting on, on both sides. Also saying this race can give us a sneak peek at what we might see in 2020. Yeah, I'll be very surprised if it's a, if a, a large margin of victory in the governor's race. I think it's going to be a really tight race. General election coming up quick will be November 6th. Back to you.